before Frampton Comes Alive becomes this massive, one of the biggest hits of all time in rock history, you befriend George Harrison. Mm -hmm. Now, a guy with your kind of guitar chops and experience and singing and everything, are you nervous when George calls you up and says, I need, I'm, I'm leaving the Beatles and I need, no. <laughs> like, like, I need you? Yeah. Um, like, well, how does that work? The, the first time that I met him, a fr uh, uh, his best friend and assistant, Terry Doran, he, he, we were in Wardour Street in London, and that's uh, the studio is just around the corner. Trident, and um, we were in the pub, and he said, do you want to come and meet George? And I said, George who? Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those guys all call themselves, like, they think you know who they are. Yeah. It's like, well, wait, George, yeah, but George. <laughs> yeah, he had some he had some code name for him as well, Right. so so they could talk about him in public. <laughs> you know? Code name, yeah, I heard, like, guys that famous get code names. <laughs> yeah. What was George Harrison's code name? Uh, it was Harry, I think, Big Harrison, Harry. you know, I think oh. it was the Harry, something like that. Right. But uh, do you want to come meet Harry? You know, so <laughs> <laughs> so I walk in the studio and there's George standing behind the console and he looked at me and he goes, hello, Pete. You know, and I, I kind of looked behind myself. I thought, Is there another Pete here? <laughs> How and did I, he know you so well? Was he following? from Humble Pie? From Humble Pie. And he requested you because he had to put together musicians for this thing he was well, doing. He. We we didn't know we were going to meet that day, and he just said, "Look, I'm producing my first album for the Apple label, the Beatles Apple right. label." So I walked down, and it's the who's who of players. Who's you know, in there? Ringo and Klaus Vorman, Nicky Hopkins. Oh my god! All these like top top guys, and uh, Chris Bedding probably. Is that that's exciting, right? Uh, yes, I was nervous as hell, and then George just hands me his Les Paul, the famous one. Not that he's not famous. <laughs> right. But that's his guitar. <laughs> but it's it's very, there's a storied past to it. So, and I, I saw so I And you had no idea you were going there to play. You were no. just going to meet George, you, Harry. Yeah, exactly. They didn't give you a code name? No, no. like, not hey, yet. where's my code name? Not yet. Hey, kid, get over here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're, just, you're just Peter Frampton. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so then I start playing rhythm because he is the Beatles lead guitar player. And, that's right. Uh, so he says, no, no, I'm playing rhythm. I want you to play lead, you know? Wow. So, so I swallowed hard and I ended up playing the main guitar riffs on this, her first single. As a know? musician who puts together his own music, are you shocked that when you walked into that room, he wanted you to play lead? Cause you're probably, cause like you say, he's yeah. the Beatles lead guitar player. Why do you think he needed you to play lead? Was it just, he was just looking for something different, a different sound? Um, I know that he was, you know, he, he was a fan of my playing, right. um, and he just, you know, that Want day, to see what you'll do with it. Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, and you're sitting there and all those guys are jamming with you. And I sort of became, um, he said, well, look, if Eric can't make it, I'll call Pete, you know, which was very nice. But I, you know, I, I know Eric where being I Eric Clapton. Yes. I know where I stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're second to Eric Clapton. Yes. It's not a bad place to be. Oh, absolutely. But you didn't I, take that as an insult. No, no way. <laughs> no. 